Hey, greetings everybody. Gleekon here again with another episode of World of Warcraft. So we did finish the first couple levels of the, of the Warcraft 3 first part of the game. We're, we're playing the reforged version. Um, just because I feel like I'd rather play a polished version. I, I, I've had my fill of 90s, like, you know, 16-bit games for now on there. But... Um, I think for the most part, that's not going to affect the story. And that's the other thing. The point of all, doing all this is is we're doing this all for the story. And uh, however, we got to the point where the orcs are going to Kalimdor, which we're not going to get there lore-wise for some time. Because technically that happens while they're sailing across the ocean. The entire orc ca uh, human campaign basically goes down. So um, even though that's played out of order in the game... From a lore perspective, we need to do a lot of other stuff first. So stay a while and listen to this one. It's the Ravages of the Plague. And we're going to see, I guess, what's happening as the orcs set sail. Though the Horde was still roaming Lordaeron's countryside. Okay, so that's, I guess... So we're not even set sail yet. Terranus Menethil could no longer ignore the plague. He knew that the Kirin Tor was sending the sorceress Jane of Proudmoore to investigate the disease. And he thought it would be wise to aid her. The king dispatched envoys led by his own son, Arthas Menethil. They would accompany Jaina and search for the plague source together. With any luck, they would find a way to stop the disease from spreading further. Okay, so we're actually... We're a little behind. We should have read this one probably before we read the last Rise of... Uh, the last Arthas and before we did all this stuff. So we're catching up with this one. Despite the grim circumstances, Artha and Jaina looked forward to spending some time together. They had ended their romantic relationship, but they still harbored feelings for each other. They didn't yet know that this quest would destroy what remained of their youthful innocence and change them both forever. Crossing into the Eastweald was like stepping through a portal into another world. Gone was the tranquility that the region had once enjoyed. A shadow had crept over the land, bringing fear and paranoia. Arthas was heartbroken by the suffering he witnessed. These were his people, and protecting them was his responsibility. If he failed, what kind of ruler would that make him? He vowed to do whatever he could to deliver his people from doom. From the outset, Arthas had little success. He called on his powers to cleanse the plague-stricken victims he met, but the holy light was largely ineffective and unreliable. For many of these poor souls, Arthas could do little else but offer words of reassurance that he would end the plague. As time passed, Arthas and Jaina unraveled one mystery after another concerning the plague, and each revelation was more troubling than the last. The affliction was being transmitted across the region through grain shipments from Anderhal. Even more unsettling was the discovery that the plague didn't simply kill its victims, it raised them into undeath and turned them into shambling corpses. Arthas and Jaina saw these monstrosities firsthand. They were forced to fight their way through the tide of walking corpses that surged over the countryside. None of this was happening by chance. A human cult led by Kalthazad was responsible for the plague's spread, and they had an army of undead at their command an army called the Scourge. Discovering that humans were behind the plague stoked the fires of Arthas's rage. He channeled his fury into the quest to hunt down Kel'Thuzad and his followers, eager to make them pay for the innocent lives they had destroyed. In Anderhal, Arthas Menethil would have his chance. So really a lot happened there. Um, finally, the, the sheets are lifted back, or, or the curtains have been pulled back, and they now know where the plague's coming, coming from, what the plague has done, and ostensibly the figurehead that's causing the plague, although they don't know the deeper meaning behind, or the deeper uh, person's pulling the strings. Um, and we're going to move forward into a showdown with Kelsazad in his human form. All right, so this episode's in the pipe 5x5. Five five. We'll, we'll flesh that out with some other lore on the side coming up real soon. I thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will see you next time on Lore of Warcraft.